When you do great work on the job or give a gripping performance, you might get an award. When your work changes an entire country for the better, you could win the biggest prize in the world. Today, the first Mo Ibrahim Award was handed out in London, where the CBC's Adrian Arsenault reports on the winner and the man who's writing one jaw-dropping check. Not long ago, it was ravaged by civil war and hunger. And the story of Mozambique could have ended badly, would have, were it not for Joaquim Chisano, its former president who steered it towards peace and economic growth. On a continent with such an ugly reputation for corrupt strongmen, Chisano was always an honest standout. And for that, far from Africa's wrenching problems, he was today rewarded with the world's biggest prize. Five million dollars over 10 years, then $200,000 a year for life, all donated by Mo Ibrahim. It's to shine a light on governance in Africa. Ibrahim is a Sudanese businessman who made his millions with cell phones and his mark with an idea. Develop a transparent system to rate governance in Africa. Find the leaders who encouraged democratic reforms, resisted corruption, changed their nations for the better, and then compensate them in their retirement. He has the backing of some of the world's most powerful figures. He sends a message that good governance, good leadership is appreciated, it has value, and people who perform well may be rewarded. With momentum it's the award's the right first year, and its stated aim is to encourage genuine achievement. Not all see it that way, though. It's an incentive, but is it necessary to actually bribe people uh, to, to make them do their job properly? Kofi Annan says he's heard that dig before, and it simply misses the point. It's a drunk to keep pushing, even those at the top to do better, and encourage those at the bottom to keep up. And of this first winner, Shisano, who fought for independence, fought for debt relief, and refused to greedily cling to power, there was nothing but praise today. He really exemplifies what leadership can do under adversity. What will Shisano do with the money and show of good faith? Curiously, Ibrahim, the cell phone magnet, couldn't get a hold of the former president to give him the good news. He was, fittingly enough, in the southern Sudan trying to negotiate a peace agreement. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, London.